everyone, Caroline here. In today's video, I am unboxing the card kit of the month from September 2020 um, with the theme Whimsical Forests. So I just got it in the mail and I will open it now. Okay, let me cut it. goodies. Let me get this out. All right. Let me remove the paper. And I see already flowers and the leaves. Okay. Here is the card with the three examples and they are the little gnomes and here are some ephemeras and on the back side it shows you how you can put this card together so let's get let's get through this here and see what's inside okay so here are my cards and here's the, the tape, and here is the sticky, uh, foam stickies, foam dots. And here are my cards, and they look in good shape. Yep, nothing dented, very nice. Then let's take a look at the dies, and I'm very excited because we're gonna have another frame this month. Let me just find a uh, white, oh, let me just get one of the cards here. Let me move this out of the way. And let's do the dice. Let's take a look. And I guess this has to be in together with the stamps. Let me see where the stamps are here. Let's put the stamps and the dice together. So here's this stamp set. And this month. We have two hedgehogs and we have these cute little gnomes and you know these gnomes um, remind me of uh, Heinz and Männchen which are the gnomes um, or that's a story that comes um, especially from Cologne we call those little gnomes Heinz and Männchen and they are so cute and I love the size of them they're very small um, so they're beautiful probably to put them in a shadow box or to put a couple of them together so these are very very cute it has some very cute sentiments as well it has this little I love you hello it's a happy day there's gnome on there's gnome there's gnome one like you hedgehogs and kisses so these are very cute I love this um, mushroom here and the little sizes and there's a little bit of uh, small leaves, tiny little flower, an acorn. I'm not sure what this is. There's kind of like a stick. I'm wondering what's this supposed to be for. And there's some strokes. So, oh, I think this might be if you want to build a little sign, you can use this and stamp it right below those. Um, signs here so i guess they're thinking more of garden gnomes so if you would put this in the in the next to a flower or something like that um very very cute so that's the stamp set let's take a look at the dies here's this beautiful frame it's a nice size as you can see let me see if you do it this way even that way so this is the frame then you have those little dies that cut out the gnomes it's this way uh, we have only two of those 
So the third one you have to cut out by yourself. Fussy cut them out. Then we have those. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be here. Oh, my, oh, that's the hedgehog probably. There's also hedgehog dye, I guess. Let me take a look here at that card quickly. It doesn't show here on the card. But I'm pretty sure this is the... Yeah, that's the hedgehog. This is the body. That's the outline. The body. And then this is the... Um, the head. It goes probably like this, yeah. Then we have, and I love this as well, little grass. So you could build up a little scene. And we have those uh, dies to cut out the two sides of um, mushrooms here. And we have a little cloud that we could use for the sky. We have the one for the hello, which is nice. And we have the big um, mushroom here. So we have one, two, three, four, five outline dies, and then we have uh, actually six, and then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not the right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, standalone dies. So that's very nice. I'm very really excited about the gnomes. I don't have gnomes yet because uh, usually they're me. They're they're just not my style, or they're just too big. But this ones, I just love them. They are so nice. So these are the dice and the stamp set. Love that. And. You might wonder why I haven't uh, put out a video for my last month or last month's video, last card kit. And that's just because I didn't, I skipped that one. Because I um, was thinking that last month's kit was just not something that I would, would like to have. So if you were wondering why I didn't have a video up for that, that's the reason. I just skipped it and instead uh, used that money for my uh, for other things so so let's move on here let's see the cardstock so we're gonna get and let's smooth cardstock we get a dark blue a navy blue we're getting like a green grass green a cyan a white a yellow oops it does another, another one Oh, actually, this is a cream and this is a white, a yellow. This is kind of a raspberry or yeah, raspberry color, let's say. And then we have a, like a Bordeaux color, maroon color, and we have this gold mirror color. So now let's take a look at the paper pad. Let's move this out of the way. And let's see what the paper looks like. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna lay this like this so you can see it with a cardstock. So we're gonna have a dark blue plaid, teeny tiny flowers. We have one with alphabet, scripty, font on green. It's like a sage green. We have some flowers on white, pink flowers. And we have this interesting um, abstract um, design. Then we have some wood uh, abstract background. Some little apples, stripes. I love this one. Um, this reminds me of uh, almost like a fabric a quilting fabric, cotton fabric, so cute, from the 20s or 30s. With little mushrooms. We have little trees. Another yellow. Little, re uh, little rainbows. Um, pink color, or 
yeah, like a almost like a rose color with little white dots, a blue one with stripes crisscrossed. Then we have this kind of like due date and um, notes, little butterflies, a red grid, uh, little leaves and acorns, a green background pattern. Then we have, of course, the little gnomes. Um, background and here we start all over so there's twice every paper is twice and we have 20 designs so these are awesome and I think they are very well work very well with the, uh, the size of the the gnomes of the stamps and the dice so yeah I really uh, I really like it I'm already thinking what I could do okay let's move on we have also these 3D stickers. And there you can see how they have like foam dots in the back. And I created this apple with the worm. This is very cute. I love the hedgehog. And it's literally the same um, pictures from this is the same picture from the stamp set I think just in a bigger size yeah and also the hedgehog a little bit bigger very very cute I love that I love 3d stickers anyway so um, then we have another package of stickers which uh, have sentiments on them so let's take a look Oh, this one here. So we have like uh, beautiful heart, unique love, and yeah, it's your day, adorable, celebrate, hey kiddo, fun, and like apple here. So a small a little hearts and a two stars. Very nice. And then of course we have uh, die cuts, and in this this time we have two package of die cuts. So let me go quickly through them because there are always so many. Let's move this aside. Um, let's move the white back on here. Okay, so the first package, um, it doesn't say anything on it, but it looks like leaves and flowers and stuff okay here it goes has mushrooms acorns here you can see flowers yeah so this is literally like a this is the I would say the forest pack with all the leaves and mushrooms plenty of mushrooms plenty of flowers big flowers actually bigger flowers arrangements flower arrangements then you have leaves in all kinds of shapes. They almost look like trees. You could also do this as a tree if you don't want to make it a leaf. More flowers. And I'll just go quickly through them. Also, what you could do with them, you can actually um, shape them a little bit. I'm pretty sure you could use a shaping tool and just give them a little bit of shape. So they're getting a little even. You could even go and ink them, the edge, make them look a little bit more real. More flowers, and some of them have like gold foil on them. And I think. If I see this right, I am not sure. Um, I think everything is once there. Not double. So, more class. So, yeah, this is definitely just the 
flower leaves and mushroom stack here but these are awesome and there's so many of them you can pretty much make 10 cards just alone of this pack okay let me quickly put them in here and then we have the other pack here which says whimsical forest on them and before i open this i just want to show there are also a pack of sequins and there are blue and kind of a transparent darker um, holographic bluish color so and then here are the other dies die cuts actually so let's see oh here's another gnome sitting on the snail So here we have again this double, they're double, and we have again sentiments and miscellaneous items. So let me just go quickly through them. So these are all the die cuts that come in this kit and there are so many. I'm trying already to, you know, separate them by um, sentiment one and then this is going to be just my pile for flowers and everything natural, uh, foliage related. And then I'm going to put those other ones um, in a different pile. So I have them a little bit sorted. I think this is an awesome kit. I can't wait to get started with this and create 10 cards. And yeah, I hope I see you in my next video when I will show you all my 10 cards. Until then, bye.